What's up, Greg? I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. This, of course, is another episode of How to Annoy Strangers in Public. The accounts that I'm going to be talking about today were heavily requested by hundreds of people who have DM'd me these accounts in the past couple weeks. Their names are Sexy Jeffo and I'm Box Boy. What does he mean, I'm Box Boy? I thought I was Box Boy. I want to be Box Boy. I like that his username has to be I'm Box Boy and not just Box Boy. Like he's really worried you won't think that he's Box Boy. I don't want there to be any confusion. I am Box Boy. It's not you. It's not anyone else in the videos. I am the Box Boy. It seems like their videos have been showing up on literally everybody's Instagram Explore page over the past couple weeks. And it seems like everybody has sort of unanimously decided... This is bad, I don't like this. So they sent it to me, so that I would make fun of them. Also, while you're here, I just wanted to mention that I've got new merch. This isn't it, although it's still available, and actually it's higher quality now. I just relaunched my merch store, it's still dannygonzalez.store, the link is in the description. You can get this Truly Greg t-shirt, even better quality than ever before. Premium quality materials, beautifully printed, you can get the classic Greg hoodie, and two new items. You can get the Team Greg jersey, or you can get the fastest growing army t-shirt, which shows what it would look like if you looked up who was the fastest growing army on YouTube, which you shouldn't do. You should just buy the t-shirt instead, that way you can look at that instead of looking it up. You can get all those things at dannygonzalez.store, the link is in the description. Cop your Greg merch to join the ultimate fan army. Greg, it's Greg or nothing. Okay, so let's start off easy. This one, they're not really harassing people in public. They're sort of doing this pranking each other type of thing. It's a lot like uh, Kristen Hanby and Jackson. Oh, Doherty! Sorry. Jackson O'Doherty. So let's check out this video. It's called Oh Na Na Dance. Yo, Jeffrey. Oh, oh Na Na Dance. The black was cool. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Actually, right. Oh, shit, dude. Now, this is a challenge. If you start playing this music, your friend has to stop whatever he's doing, no matter what he's doing, and he has to do this dance. That is ice cold. I mean, how could he do his friend like that? He's clearly late for school. You can tell because he's got his backpack on and he's like furiously scribbling in a notebook. He must be trying to finish homework on his way because he's just like <laughs> rapid fire scribbling, clearly not writing anything. And then he runs off because he was late for school. Really makes you wonder, why wasn't he running at the beginning of the video? If he, he was still late then, right? Why didn't he, why wasn't he running to start with? But there he goes running off into the distance to go to the school that's in the middle of this like outdoor shopping mall for some reason. They do this a few more times in the grocery store while this dude's brushing his teeth in just a towel and uh, at the end he gets naked. Oh, sh and one last time next to a pool and he gets pushed in. <laughs> Obviously. There's never been a prank or challenge video that took place next to a pool that didn't end up with someone getting pushed into the pool. It's never happened. In fact, if you're friends with like an Instagram prankster, Never go near a pool around them. They will push you in it. But that was a pretty harmless one. I just wanted to give you a vibe for their content. It's clearly all fake. Cause like, why was that dude going to school in the middle of an outdoor shopping mall? But now we're just gonna crank the intensity knob up a little bit. We're gonna see what else they have to offer. Yo, box boy, Simon says, get wet. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> What? So much screaming. What the fuck? I just watched the first 10 seconds of this video and I feel like I just ran a marathon. I feel like I've aged a thousand years. This video surely took like 20 years off my life and I'm not even done with it. Let's continue. So now we're doing this Simon Says challenge where if Simon says to do something, you have to do it. It's like the classic game. If Simon tells you to do something, you better fucking do it. Simon can't be reasoned with. So I should probably mention here that over the past couple weeks, I've gotten like 15 copyright claims from the same company. They've all been from UMG or Universal Music Group. And if you haven't heard of them, they own somewhere in the ballpark of every song ever. So anytime I use a copyrighted song in a video now, it gets copyright claims and I don't make any money from the video. So instead of giving any UMG songs any more publicity, for this video, I'm gonna be replacing any copyrighted music with covers done by yours truly. It's gonna be a lot more work on my end and definitely make this video worse, but at least I'll still make money from this video. Oh, Jeffo, Simon says make out with that girl. I mean, if Simon says so. Oh my God, Jeffrey! Oh! Uh-uh. <laughs> I mean, if Simon says so, I guess I'm allowed to kiss that girl. The only consent I need is from Simon himself. 
Not the girl I'm literally about to chase down and kiss. To be clear, I'm not really actually accusing this dude of like kissing this girl without consent. It's almost definitely fake. He probably went up to this girl before the video started and was like, hey, we'll pay you $50 if you let me like sprint up to you and kiss you for this video. Plus she does look like vaguely into it or at least okay with it. I mean, she's like rubbing his elbow, which is something that you do if like, you weren't happy about kissing somebody, but it wasn't like a surprise. If it was a surprise, you'd probably be like, your arms would probably go up in the air like that. But she's just sort of giving him like a gentle rub of the elbow. It's sort of like a nice, like reassuring, good work, buddy, you're doing great. <laughs> Keep up the good work. This is really good for your first kiss. My God, Jeffrey. I like how they like hype man each other too. Like they're always screaming behind the camera. Like they can't believe whatever's going on. Like for the one where he jumped in the water. The dude behind the camera was like, oh, he's doing it. He's wet. I've never seen someone so wet. Sometimes it's warranted when they're doing like really crazy shit, but this dude's just like kissing a girl. It's not that crazy. But the dude behind the camera's like, oh my God, Jeffrey, you're doing it, man. You're doing it. You're really doing it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh! Yeah, I came in with the sauce. Ooh, and now he's getting naked. Simon says, take it off! <laughs> and he's doing it again. <laughs> cool. That's... Oh! Stop! Stop screaming! You don't need to scream like that. Just because you got naked doesn't mean you scream. Do you get naked every time you scream? <sighs> time to take a shower. Better take off my shirt, my pants, turn on the water. Yo, box boy! Simon says, take that girl home! I mean, if Simon says so. <laughs> oh no, no, no. What a terrifying thing to do to someone if it's not fake. Just imagine this from the girl's perspective. You're just like hanging out with your friends, your girls. You're all wearing identical outfits for some reason, but that's neither here nor there. And this dude, this, this box boy, comes sprinting at you, screaming, and he picks you up and carries you away. I mean, that's not even like an Instagram prank at this point. That's like the start of a Taken movie. You ha you have to assume the worst for yourself if that happens. Box boy, Simon says, mother her. I mean, if Simon says- Dun 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 So I'm just realizing something. In a lot of these cases, there's gonna be music playing over this, and I'm going to be replacing it. So you might not be able to tell, uh, but they're screaming uh, uh, in that one too. What is going on in this scenario? I'm really struggling to figure out how people think that this is real. Like this girl is just standing by herself on like the top of an abandoned parking garage with a shopping cart in a bikini. And she's just like standing there texting or something. So I guess we're like our brains are just supposed to accept the fact that this girl went into a store in just a bikini. She came out, looks like she didn't even buy anything. And now she's like not walking to her car or anything. In fact, there's no cars in sight. She's just like standing there texting. Oh, Jaffa, Simon says you're a girl. Oh, does he now? Oh, oh my God, work it, bro. Simon says you're a girl too. Oh. Oops, I did it again. I like how he acts so surprised. Like he wasn't expecting this at all. Oh. The tables have turned now. Like he's like, Holy shit. I never thought in a million years that Simon would have the balls to stab me in the back and tell me that I am now a girl. I mean, sure, me and Sexy Jeffo did just go to the store and buy both of these bras for this video, but I didn't think I would have to wear one. I played with your heart. I think these videos would be about 10 times more tolerable if I could make like two small changes to them. And that would be stop screaming about literally everything and also stop humping each other in public. I think both of those things would make these videos just that much more tolerable. It wouldn't make them good, but it would make them less bad. So these are all pretty standard ways of bothering people in public for Instagram comedy. You know, like taking off your clothes, jumping into public bodies of water. It's all been done before. But one thing that I'm Box Boy has really pioneered is a new way of annoying people where he actually like stops them and talks to them. But it's probably not what you're thinking. He doesn't go up to people and say like funny one-liners or little quips or like roast people or funny stuff like that. What he does is 
Ask them to punch him in the face. He's a simple man with simple tastes. He just likes getting punched in the face. I did not intend for that to rhyme. Smash or punch? So he's not quite so blunt where he literally just asks people to punch him. He always gives two options to give the people the illusion of choice. So in this one, he gives people the option to either smash his watermelon or punch him in the face. And guess which one literally everybody chooses? Smash or punch? <laughs> Smash or punch? Smash or punch? Are you fucking gay? Ha! <laughs> gay! Oh, ho, ho. Holy shit. Now that's funny. You didn't think this video was just gonna be him getting punched in the face, did you? He had to add in a couple jokes. This joke being that <laughs> gay is funny. It's kind of sad. Like, I kind of feel like he was hoping at least one person wouldn't want to punch him in the face. Because he makes these videos a lot, and it seems like people really want to punch him in the face. Like, maybe someone commented on one of his videos once, like, you have a really punchable face. And he was like, no, I don't. And to prove it, I'm going to make a video where people have the option to either punch me in the face or do something else. But all people want to do is just punch him right in the face. Okay, here's another one. This one's called, would you slap or... Punch. What? Dude, that's not gonna help. You're gonna get hit in the face either way. This time he was like, okay, maybe my face isn't that punchable. Maybe people will want to slap me too, right? And it doesn't even work because everybody still just wants to punch him in the face. Slap or punch? Punch. Oh, slap or punch? What? <laughs> this poor guy. All he wants is just someone, literally anyone, to not want to punch him in the face. But everybody does. Everybody just wants to punch this guy's face. Okay, let's check out this one. Punch me. <laughs> No, no, dude. He's removed all other options now. He's accepted that everybody just wants to punch him. Now his mindset is, hey, I won't feel so bad if I don't even give the option to do anything else besides punch me. Now I'm in control. And I'm only giving people the option to punch me and that's why they're punching me. Punch me. People want to punch him so bad. Look at this girl. She couldn't even wait to get the gloves on. She was like, this dude has the most punchable face I've ever seen. I just, I can't wait. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta punch him now. She could barely even wait for him to finish saying it. I don't even know if she heard him or if she just, with, like, without even realizing he said it was okay for her to punch him. She just... BAM! This poor guy can't do anything without people wanting to punch him. He posted this picture on Instagram trying to, like, look all sexy or whatever. And he captioned it, kiss or punch. And everybody picked punch. <laughs> punch. 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 Shoot. Punch. Let me fucking kick at your face. <laughs> I just want to know where people like this come from on Instagram. Like, how do you even start making this content? I scrolled down I'm Box Boy's profile and he used to be just like this pretty regular kid just like posting pictures of him with his friends, pictures of him skiing. And then one day it was just like Fortnite. Fortnite. Drugs? Fortnite. Punched in the face. Punched in the face. Punched in the face. Kicked in the balls. Punched in the face. Slapped in the balls. Sexy Jeffo actually surprisingly has pretty different content to I'm Box Boy. Instead of like going around and annoying people with like nudity or violence, he just goes around and makes women feel a little bit awkward by giving them cheesy pickup lines. Hey, are you a thief? No. Cause you're about to steal my virginity tonight. <laughs> He usually gets pretty good responses out of them. Like, they're usually a little bit flattered. I think they're mostly fake. Do you know why I don't want you as my girlfriend? Because I want you as my wife. Girls like you go around with guys like me. And even if they do feel a little bit awkward, nobody ever feels as awkward as Sexy Jeffo himself seems to after he says literally every pickup line. He just, like, stares into the camera awkwardly. It's like the most... Awkward mm. thing to watch. It's almost like he's immediately caught off guard anytime a woman has a remotely positive response to something he says to her, which probably isn't a good sign. Sexy Jeffo is not out here looking to get punched in the face or slapped in the balls. He's just out here looking for love. His one goal in life is just to feel love. That's probably why I'm Box Boy was so happy to see him kissing that girl because that's all he ever really wants. It's it's kind of sweet now that I think about it. Smash my balloon. Oh, shit. Whoa, what's happening? Uh, never mind. After watching these guys' videos and people like them for a long time, I've, I found this really weird pattern. And that's that these people always, like, pop the fuck off on Instagram, getting 6 million views, 2 million views, like, millions of views on every video. And they post, like, the same things on YouTube. Sometimes even longer cuts, like, uh, longer compilations of these videos. And they always, like, flop. Like, these dudes' YouTube channels, most of their videos don't even have over 100,000 views. It made me wonder, like, why do these people do so well 
on Instagram and not on YouTube? And it's a question I don't really have an answer for. And it must just be different audiences on YouTube and Instagram. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you want some Greg merch, you can get the Truly Greg t-shirt, the Greg hoodie, the Team Greg jersey, or the Fastest Growing Army t-shirt. Head on over to dannygonzalez.store. All items are uh, blessed with my love. Also, I mentioned this in the last video, but I have a secret club now. Gregs who are members of my secret club get to enjoy a premium, exclusive live stream by me once a month. You get a little badge next to your name so that I can see you in the comments on my YouTube videos easier and respond to you. You get emojis that you can use in the chat that nobody else gets to use, and you get exclusive merch discounts. So if you want to join my secret club, either press the button that's says join next to the subscribe button or if you don't see that there's a link in my description to join my secret club once again please don't tell anyone about my secret club you guys have been doing a great job of that so far of not telling anybody about it because it's a secret if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join greg greg is my family here on youtube we're a family we're an army and we're a business that i'm using to make money so if you want to join greg all you have to do is subscribe and turn on my notifications thank you to keegan for turning on my notifications you are truly greg i'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I travel into a mystical forest and meet a magical old wise talking tree. And I ask him to share his wisdom with me, and he tells me to buy Bitcoin? Bye!